What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I've really been waiting to use the Note 9 as my daily driver until my screen protector came in. A lot of people are really high up on Whitestone dome glass products right now. I want to go ahead and do a an how to install video. It is pretty simple but there are a lot of steps involved. So I want to go ahead and unbox this for you and show you how it's going to work with the Note 9 and show you how to install it yourself. Uh, this is the kit that's available on Amazon for it was like 50 bucks or something of that nature. I'll throw up a link in the description. This comes with the UV light. If you are familiar with Whitestone products and you already have a UV light from one of your other installs, they do sell just the dome glass screen protectors as well. Um, so keep that in mind also. Again, you can get it all on Amazon. I will throw up a link in the description. But for now, let's go ahead and just uh, unbox this and get everything set up. Uh -oh. So here we are, quite a bit of stuff comes in the box. Again, if you are not familiar with it, it can be a little overwhelming on what you need to do and how to properly install all this. Let me get it all set up and set to the side and we'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see here, there is a hodgepodge of stuff that come in this box. It is definitely not just your simple screen protector, cleaning cloth, you know paste and go there's a lot to do with this stuff um, however once you work through it all it is definitely worth it so let's go ahead and start the process up we're gonna go ahead and take the note device here and I opened one of the cleaning cloths already we're gonna go ahead and give it that wipe down and then we're gonna go ahead and wipe the screen of the device sorry about that guys let me scoot that back for you there we go. Make sure we got everything. We don't want to have any particles under that screen protector. All right. Now we're going to want to place this on the bottom piece of the tray, as you can see here. And it is labeled so you know which side's up. It does say speaker up here, so make sure that is for the top of your phone. Let's give it one more little wipe down here. All right. Next, what you're going to want to do is take one of the earpiece stickers, peel it off, and stick it right over just the earpiece of the device. Make sure not to get it on the screen. And then once that's done, you're going to take the top of this, which again should be labeled as well. You can see where it says speaker here and you're going to want to line it up with the device and we are good to go then after that what you're going to want to do are take these little foam inserts right here they are the absorption pads and you're going to stick right in the grooves in the case there we go make sure we're sitting pretty well then after you do that you're gonna to want to take this pin and there's a little cutout up here for it you're gonna stick right in there as well following step you're gonna do you're gonna take this bridge piece and you are going to want to insert it right in the grooves in the case as well facing upward because you're going to put the uh, solvent in there in the next step as well. So let me pause it for you. Let me go ahead and grab something really quick and we will be right back. All right, guys. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to take the adhesive, like I said. You're going to want to open the colored cap first, I believe it is. Let me just verify that. Yes, indeed. This is going to go in this middle portion right here. like so and then after that you're gonna to want to open up the black top and that's gonna allow the uh, the adhesive to fall down and you can see it right there hopefully I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick it up or not you can see the drop 
right down there. Um, and what you're going to want to do now is after 30 seconds, hold the top tray and remove the bridge of the adhesive bottle. So let me go ahead and pause this and we'll run it 30 seconds and come right back. Alright guys, 30 seconds is up. What we're going to do now is go ahead and remove we're gonna, this top tray right here and set it off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and actually get the screen protector now finally. You can see the glob of the adhesive right there. Let's go ahead and take this out. And you can see right here, step two is the back side. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. There we go. And what we're going to do with this now is we are going to place the glass in the bottom of the top tray and then diagonally on the top of the pin. So, we're gonna set it like that. Place it just like that. In the top of the tray. And now we're gonna tilt the bottom tray by pressing down on the bottom. You can see it's kind of off balance here. You can see the adhesive sliding make sure it gets somewhat towards the center there and then pull your tab and the adhesive is spreading as you can see on the top of the device and this will allow it to adhere to the device itself it should take I want to say about 80 seconds for the adhesive to spread over the top but once that's done you should be good to go no bubbles no anything of that nature we will be back shortly as soon as this finishes to show you the finished product guys. Alright now that the adhesive is kind of spread all over the device I cleared out everything else and what we're going to do now is get that UV curing light that came in the box. I actually just went ahead and plugged it in with the USB micro USB cable. You can see all the UV lights on the bottom. We're going to place this right over the top speaker part and turn it on and this will go for about 15 seconds on the top portion and then we're going to scoot it down and do the same thing for another 15 seconds as well um, right over the bottom of the phone for the curing process once that's done we will wipe it down and we are good to go so I'll pause this one more time and then we will be done alright the light just went off we will go ahead and slide it down again to do the next portion and then one more time. As you can see guys, it looks a lot more difficult than what it actually turns out to be. Uh, I've used these before, it's been a while. Everyone was kind of looking forward to getting them, especially with these phones being so expensive nowadays. I wanted to give you guys a good idea of what a solid screen protector looks like now. Uh, it is true what they say, you get what you pay for guys. So just keep that in mind. A screen protector for you know forty dollars or so is a little on the high end than what we're used to paying but again the quality you get is uh is pretty good we're gonna go ahead and remove the speaker adhesive and then the absorption pads let's go ahead and do that right now pull that off Get the adhesives off, the absorption pads. There we go. Let's go ahead and do it now one more time. We'll do this one more time over the top and bottom of the device for, I believe it's another 60 seconds. Alright guys, we have done it again to the top and bottom portion of the device. It should be all cured, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the top portion off. 
and then turn this over and voila hopefully you guys can see how well it actually turned out no issues I went a little high you can see here on the uh, top by the speaker however that is not a concern I have no problem with that there's no bubbles in the case or excuse me in the screen protector everything actually works pretty uh, pretty flawlessly we'll go ahead and turn it back on and I'll show you guys touch input and all that once this turns back on alright guys as you can see it is installed looks great on the screen no lag everything's working pretty smoothly let's go ahead and get the S Pen out really quick and see make sure that works fine as you can see guys completely smooth still no problem at all so this is definitely a major major necessity for these thousand dollar devices is this something you're interested to get leave a comment down below I will uh, throw up a link in the description as I said thank you guys for watching stay tuned 